Hello folks and welcome to GED Microlearning. My name is Dr. MCR and this is GED Math Test 22. Our first uh, basic arithmetic question today deals with percents and also reading uh, tables. A company with 520 employees is surveying how people come to work, either by bike, walking, car, etc. Approximately how many people in the company were using public transportation in 2020? All right, so this problem um, is going to look at percentages, as we said, but it's also going to test your ability to uh, look at a table and be able to get the information out from the table in order to do the question. Okay, so the, so the question is asking you about public transportation. So you would look down the first column until you, you reach public transportation, and that's essentially the only line that you want out of that table. And then it's asking you specifically for the year 2020. So you can literally get rid of that column as well so that you're not confused. Okay, so now it's going to be very easy for you to do the question because um, it tells you in the problem that you have 520 employees and 37% of them are taking public transportation in 2020. Okay, so the way that you figure out how many um, people that is, you would multiply that 520 times 37%. Or another way to write 37% is to say 0.37, okay? So when you multiply that out, it gives you 192, okay? So 192 is 37% of 520. And that's the amount of people that were taking public transportation in 2020. Answer C. Question two is an applied arithmetic problem looking at probability. So they often ask you uh, the difference between mean, median, and mode. Uh, so this question looks at mode. Human Resources, HR, is going over employee sick days in the company over the past five years. From the information provided, calculate the mode. All right, so here they're giving you a table with uh, five employees, Ryan, Lin uh, Lydia, Cindy, Ricardo, and Jacob. And they're giving you the number of days that they've been off work sick over the past five years. And it asks you to calculate the mode. And I use the word calculate in the question to throw you off a little bit, to confuse you, okay? Because when people see this, sometimes they think that they're asking you to calculate the average or the median, or the mean, sorry. Um, and what this is, the mode is actually the number that appears more frequently. So in this case, if you look at Ryan, he had 36 sick days. And if you look at Cindy, she also had 36 sick days. So the mode, or the most frequent number in this table, is 36. Okay, so it's answer A. Question three is an algebra problem looking at polynomials, specifically division of polynomials. So it says solve the following, 5y plus 45 divided by 5. Okay, so this is a two-step uh, problem. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to factor out a common term. So in this case, the common term would be 5. Okay, so if you factor 5 out, you would say now that 5 multiplied by y plus 9 is the same as um, equivalent to the equation above, right? Because if you multiply 5 times y, that's 5y. And if you multiply 5 times 9, that gives you 45. Okay, so you see this, I hope. Okay, so that's step one. And now it's going to be very easy for you to do the next uh, step, which is to simplify your equation. So notice that you have a 5 on top and a 5 on the bottom, which means you can cross those out. Your answer is going to be y plus 9 which is letter D. Question four is also an algebra problem, and here it's asking you to solve the variable in the equation, okay? So really useful for you to get super, super comfortable with doing this sort of equations, okay? Because they will help you out a ton. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna tidy up a little bit on the left side of the equation, okay? So 5n, plus 10 minus n, okay? So 5n minus n would be 4n plus 10, okay? And now we're gonna work on the right side of the equation, and here we're gonna use the distributive property. So what that means is that you're gonna multiply seven 
by each of the numbers inside that parentheses. So you're going to multiply 7 times n, which will give you 7n, and 7 times 10, which will give you 70. Okay, so that's what our equation looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so what we can go ahead and do now is to get our uh, n together. Okay, so what we would do is on the left side of the equation, we want to subtract 4n. Okay, um, remember that whatever you two do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So we do that on the right side as well. And the reason we're doing this is because now on the left side, we can go out and cancel these two numbers. Okay, because 4, positive 4, minus or, or plus negative 4 is going to equal 0. Okay, so now what you end up is with 7n minus 4n plus 70 on the right side. Okay, so which would be 3n. And this is what your equation looks like. Okay, at this point what you want to do is you want to take that 70 on the right side and you want to move it to the left side. So how do you do that? Yes, you subtract 70 from the right side. You also have to subtract 70 from the left side or add minus 70, which is the same thing. And then you can go ahead and cancel uh, those numbers on the right side. And this would be uh, your equation. So minus 60 is equal to 3n. And now we have to isolate that n. And we do that by dividing uh, both sides by 3. So that would cancel out on the right side. And you would end up with n is equal to minus 20, which is option B. And finally, question five is a geometry problem that looks at uh, Pythagorean theorem. Mario is fixing their roof. They place a 70, 17 foot long ladder uh, four foot from the base of the wall of their house. How far up the wall will the ladder reach? Okay, so that's essentially what's happening. You have the wall on one side and then the ladder is just um, laying um, you know, inclined on the wall. All right, and we know that the ladder is 17 f feet long, and then we know that the base, the bottom of the ladder is four feet from the f uh, base of the wall. And then they want to ask us how far up the wall does the ladder reach. So that would be your x. And notice that this is a right triangle, okay? So it's got a 90 degree angle. So um, this is a hint to let you know that what you're going to do is use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? Which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And if we look at that formula in the context of a triangle, that's what the formula would look like, okay? So c squared is the longest of the sides of the triangle, okay? So all you have to do is take those numbers that you just, um, that you have for your wall and your ladder and plug them into the Pythagorean theorem equation. So it would look something like this. So a squared plus four squared is equal to 17 squared. All right, so if we solve for that, four squared is gonna equal 16 and 17 squared is uh, 289. Um, and here, what, what you want to do is isolate that A on the left side. So you would subtract 16 from the left side and 16 from the right side, which would give you 279. Okay, so you're almost done, but of course you have that A squared and you have to get rid of that squared. Um, so what you do now is that you take the square root on both sides like that. And now you end up with A is equal to 16.5, okay, which is answer A. So I have a whole video um, on these sort of problems. So if you want more practice with that, I will leave a card up on the top right corner um, of this slide, okay? So make sure you check that out um, if you have any queries. Okay, folks, well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. As always, stay positive and stay strong. If you're taking the exam today, all the best to you. I am totally rooting for you. Take care. Bye-bye.